Hey man, um, today I'm doing a very special review. I'm doing a review on a figure that I um, been wanting for a very long time. Um, I, this is my first ever um, SH figure art um, figure. I never had one before. I'm be doing one on Harley Quinn. But before we get to the accessories and the figure itself, I'd like to tell you, I'll give you a brief bio on what I believe is correct. So I know somebody will probably leave a comment and say I did something wrong. That's okay. That's what we're all here for, to help each other out. Um, brief bio that I had to give you. Uh, Harley Quinn first appeared in um, the DC comic Batman in, uh, in 1992. Then she... The, um, th then first appearance in the comic book... In 1993 uh, let's get on with the uh, show um, and everything I have a lot to show you so this I'm gonna tell you right now this is my first time doing it. once again um, have a lot of accessories uh, so bear with me I'm very happy to get this purchase uh, so the first thing I always like to show you before I get into the accessories I like to show you the box so here's the box right here of the SH Figures um, Harley Quinn figure from Injustice God of uh, um, Among Among Us. Scott, uh, sorry about that, guys. Um, it says you must be between the age of 15 and up. This is the DC and also um, with ben Bandai. And there's the front of the box. I already pre-opened it because I knew it was going. I didn't want to have it to take a long time to get it open. So here's the side. And here is I'll close the um the lid a little bit so you can get a better view of that. Here's the side once again of the figure, and here's the back uh, also of the figure and everything and all the rest of the accessories. But I'm going to show you the accessories once again. Um, well, everything as you know is in a different language. It's in, I believe is in Japanese. I'm not sure. Um, if you want to, you can read the bio. There you go, guys. Um, sometimes it pays off the end when you put a lot of hours in. First accessory I'm going to show you, and no, I will not be taking them out. It's too small. I hope these just do come up on screen as good as it can. But I'm going to describe it as best as I can. This is supposed to be a bunch of playing cards. It is the Joker. I don't think you can see that because of how small it is, but I won't be opening it up. It's in plastic. Uh, another thing I'm going to be showing you, I really like these really a lot. I see where the good quality do come from. It's right here in the two guns. <clears throat> Get a little closer. Also in the two guns you can see right here, they are made out of die cast. If you can hear that, they're made out of die cast. Well, I don't know too much uh, on guns, but they do like um, 45 magnums. Anybody who knows about guns, I'd like to help me out with that. Um, the rest of the accessories, I'm going to keep in the clamshell. They, uh, didn't think that was going to work out, but I tried. <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't think they was going to fall out that easily, but you do get um, two extra face skulls. I will show you how the um, face skulls go on and off. There's one very well painted and everything and then if you look on the back you do have two pegs right there and get my big hand ham hocks out the way you do have the two pegs right there very easy to, um uh to do to put together you do have um like the gun hand i'll take one of the guns i won't put it on the figure itself but i will take one of the guns and show it to you right there the gun fits very well into the hand do have a trigger um finger for the for the go goes at well it was very self-explanatory how that goes um another thing that you here's the other face sculpt that you you do get if i can get it out there right there guys as you can see and once again you can peg it on the back as you can see and uh, another thing that you do get, you do have to get the hammer. Nice, well-made hammer. 
as you can see that kind of a um I wouldn't say wood but like a a harder not, like a hard type of plastic as you can see that and everything you can put that in a hand and the type of hand you can use that for you can put it in this is it's like it's like a it's not like a real fist but you can put it in that hand like that and she do come with the fist hand the pieces are very small so let's get on with the figure after we went through all the accessories and, and also showing off the box and everything let's clean up my little mess real quick just give me a few minutes once again guys this is a an awesome figure to me i'm going to give you a little bio on about this i know a lot of the guys and everything who buy these type of figures all the time <clears throat> um probably would think that um the, you know these type of figures are really nothing to me so <clears throat> i mean nothing to to them but it's something to me I'm going to put on the scale how I'm doing this review on more like, um, <clears throat> excuse me, more like how a person who get into high class type things, but never really had it, but I wouldn't say poor, like getting a, a used Mercedes. This is like not a used Mercedes, but it's new to me, this type of style of figure. So, um, if I make any blunders on on uh, on on it, it just is all is all new to me how to do it. For so here's the Harley Quinn figure right here. I hope it's coming through the screen very nicely for y'all guys. Right off the back, I'm gonna tell you it's a very well sculpted, well made um, figure. Um, you do have very parts, uh, every um, good, uh, very good points. Um, the I have seen, I don't see no. Um, paint mess ups or anything like that i'm gonna give you a couple warnings right now guys before i go through the articulation if you see the her spikes down here on her shoes they're very very sharp so be careful when you are going to pose her another thing that i'm going to give you on that when you do remove the hands the pegs are kind of small so be careful when you're doing that but it is sculpted into the hand right there so it should be easy to pop on and off just be careful when you put it on there shouldn't be diff too difficult so the, i'll take it i'm gonna show you how to take off the um the face and then we're gonna go through other things else it should be very simple so basically what you're gonna do is be very careful pull out the first the front part of the hair as you see that right there just pull out the first part of the hair pull this back very slowly And you'll pull it off and she'll give you she look like more like a sideboard right now and then you want to do to put the other face on there you can put any face that you want to put on there all you have to do is basically just peg it peg it in like like so and then match up don't lose this part then she'll look very weird make sure you just pop that back in there. it's a little split or a little cut into the hair. I'm gonna get off the screen for a second. I can get it, and then you just slide it back on there, and then you can change her um her appearance around. Uh, she do have articulation in in um in the ponytails, as you can see. They can rotate. They are all are, are, are on a ball joint. Um, no, can't go up now, but they do swivel back and forth like that, and everything can get a move like that on both sides. Um. You do have a, a waist swivel right here. As you see, upper waist swivel right there. No lower waist swivel right there. You do have a, a double elbow. Move ahead a little bit. You do have a double elbow. You can see it goes all the way up like that. It can go across her body like so. You can get like in, the, in a pose like that. You cannot get into most of your regular figures. So right now, you see the price point is really working good for you. You can get it go as about that high. You get you do have a swivel right there, the upper and the swivel and a lower swivel. 
you do have like a hinge in the elbow. The reason why you have a hinge in the elbow, I mean, excuse me, in the wrist, because it is movable. She do comes with the um, fist hand and the, also the lax hand. You do have a double knee right there. These knives do not move, but this knife right here does move. I'm not a card player, but I don't know what I don't remember what that is. You can move that. Be careful, like with that, it's kind of sharp. Also with that, um, she do have the spikes on the back of it of her, like cowboy type things. They're both different, as you can see that. Like I said, you do have the double knee. You do have a ball joint right here. It can be kind of ugly, but I can deal with it. The reason why I can deal with it because how, how you're gonna pose it. You do have a um, foot articulation. Let me see if I can get that to move for you guys. It's I just just opened it up, so if I can get that to move, I'd be grateful. I can't really get the move right now, but after a little bit of opposing, but if you look real carefully, you can see where it's a split right up there. You can get the articulation in there. You do have um, ankle rotation. You can get a little, a, a not too much on the pivot, but you do have some angle rotation because it's, it's on the ball joint, as you can see that. <clears throat> uh, what else? You do have a leg split. Not too far, but it can go out about that far. You can get, you can get the leg to go that far forward and that far back. What else can you do? Let's get how see if we can get in a nice standing potion motion and then we're going to start wrapping this up I don't have a real solid um, stand to put it on but you can get a two stand and everything I'm going to swatch out one of the hands. And we're going to put the guns in there. I hope I got the right one. There you go. We're going to swap out. Let's move the other face out the way so you don't have to be looking at that. We're going to swap that out. Here's the other gun hand. Swap out the fist hand for y'all. These parts are kind of small, so if I was y'all, if you're not going to keep the um the the card that she comes in, I would assume you should get like a a little small sandwich type bag because that I, I thought it did come with one but it did do not and there you go guys and that's a cool looking pose I have to say so this have been your man Harvey Man out with Holly Quinn action figure from SH Figure Arts I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check uh, uh, check me out on uh, Instagram and um, leave your comments at the bottom. And I will talk to y'all later on the next exciting review with the Holly Man. And I can say um, enjoy your collection, whatever it may be. And I'll talk to y'all later once again. And everybody have a good day, a good night, and that's all, folks.